Hey everybody, it's Rocco. Welcome to News Geek, Newsweek's pop culture site. I'm getting really excited because it's turtle time. Let's get shell shocked over here, have some pizza, and get ready to unbox some of these awesome brand new Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures from Playmates. Based on the brand new series on Nickelodeon came out last month. I've been waiting for these figures for quite a while. Uh, Playmates and Ninja Turtles go together like bread and butter. They've been the, the grandfather of Turtles figures since as long as I, since forever, basically. So they know what they're doing. New series is out. Really digging the cartoon. What do you guys think of it so far if you've caught the episodes online or on Nickelodeon itself? Uh, but this new series, they range from uh, three to five inches in height, and these figures are only $8.99 for the first series. I think that's a really good price for a great action figure. Uh, I, I'm pretty, pretty excited to get these open. I think the detail is spot on for the d direction of the new series and design. Loving the colors. Um, the first series we have almost everyone here, but you get Michelangelo, you get the four brothers, you get Raphael, who is now the leader of the group, taking that bad attitude to new heights. Uh, Leonardo, still here, he's a little bit more sarcastic this time around. Donatello, Still the nerd, still the tech nerd. You know these tropes, guys. You can't get away from that. You gotta have some villains. You know, these are the new origami ninjas. Not so much a foot soldier anymore. Uh, but these are new uh, confetti commandos, as they're called. And the big bad, voiced by John Cena, Baron Drexum. You have to check him out. But I'm really excited to get these open. We're just going to open the four brothers today. We'll save the villains for another day. Uh, but first, I think we've just got to go with... Raphael, give him some love because he's the new leader. As the biggest and oldest brother, Raph is the self-appointed leader of the group. He thinks he can use his fist to get himself out of any situation. But while Raph's muscles are bigger than his brain, his heart is bigger than his muscles. Oh, oh, that gets me. Uh, and, and the turtles are four different species this time around, too. Raphael is a snapping turtle, and his weapons are now tonfas. Not the size. If you watch the cartoon, you'll know that he start, they start with their original weapons, but they go deep underground and discover a new mystic realm, and they get these new mystic weapons. So each figure comes with a, a few, like, holographic-style weapon. All right, I'm just going to get it in here. Just get it. Oh, he's, he's being stubborn. He does have muscles. I can even get it open. Maybe I need muscles. Don't don't tell anyone. Oh, so sad to get those card backs ripped off. But oh yeah, here we go. A couple of his weapons fell out already. We got a little. You get pizza points. Earn pizza points for prizes. All right. You can, each figure is going to come with pizza points, so you can redeem those online. Go to PlaymatesToys.com for more information on how to redeem those codes. If you're nice, maybe I'll share a code with you. If you have any questions about the turtles, uh, I, I miss this. Whenever you get an action figure, it comes with all the figures, all the toys in the series. Look at all the variety here. Meet Sweats. He's he's a new villain. You can see him. He's a he's a sweaty pig that likes to cook. But there's plenty of toys. You can dress up like the Ninja Turtles. Oh, have a field day. But let's get Raphael out of the packaging here. No twist ties. No twist ties to my knowledge. Oh, I'm wrong. There is a twist tie. Better get out the old knife. Wasn't prepared. Always have a knife for unboxing purposes. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh! Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's definitely the heftiest of the group. Which he should be. Check out his shell. Very spiky. Ooh, boy. Don't touch that. Um, I like the accoutrements. Rubbery feeling for his tassel there. The belt. I think you can probably take that off. Good points of articulation. We got hip. We got knee. We got ankle. Wrist. Elbow. Shoulder. Head. I think that's 13 points, I believe. A little waist action. Oh, yeah. He's pretty cool. I'm really digging Rav. Look at his grimace. 
You can tell he's mad about something. Uh, here's his regular Tonfa. Now, he, he, each guy, I believe, comes with a couple different weapon styles. So he has his Tonfas for battle. Let me try to get it in there. Boom. Oh, he's ready. He's ready to slap some origami ninjas. Each guy comes with a few little ninja stars, if you can see. I think they each come with one, two, just two. There's another Tonfa. Gotta have the other Tonfa. You gotta have two. And then here's where we get mystical on ya. You can see these are kind of like translucent to show that it's mystic. Magic is always translucent, guys, if you didn't know that. Magic and anything. All right, let's try to get these on here and see how they... Oh, I like these. All right. They just slide right over his hands. Boom. Oh, yeah, he's ready to dole out some mystic fighting skills here with the Tonfas. Oh, yeah. I think Raph might be my favorite figure. He's only the first one I open. Check those out, though. Now, those don't spin around or anything, but... Man, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can see in the belt they have, they have a turtle communicator, I believe. That's cool. All right. Well, we got Raph out. One to go. Or one down, three to go. Next, we're going to go with Michelangelo. Probably everyone's favorite. When you were a kid, you, you have to know Michelangelo was your favorite. Admit it now. Um, he's the wild card. As the youngest turtle, Mikey has a wild and colorful personality. He's an artist and spends his time tagging the turtle's lair and his shell with graffiti. He's an eternal optimist and an absolute natural at ninjutsu. He's a box turtle. And his weapon is the Kusari Fundo. Hope I said that right. Uh, no more nunchucks for this guy, as, he, as you know. He, he, like I said, you gotta watch the show. I don't wanna give away any spoilers, but because he likes graffiti, he comes with a variety of stickers that you're used to decorate your turtle lair. If you haven't seen that place, that thing is huge and amazing. Um, or himself, you can have tattoos, I guess, if he likes. Uh, but let's get Mikey out of the box. Oh! Okay, he comes with uh, a couple mystical weapons here. You can tell they're mystical because I said, oh, I dropped one, I'll get it later, I'll get it later. Let's get him cut out of the box here. Oh, these, these. Oh! Oh, he's got a lot going on. They really tied him in good. One more to go. It's like doing surgery. You gotta be precise. Mikey's definitely the smallest of the Ninja Turtles. I think he always has been. You guys know that. Uh, you can check out the back of his shell. It's definitely different from Raph's. I kind of like that they each have their own species now, and they're not the same brand of turtle. Uh, you can put his little weapon right there in the front. Um, also comes with two ninja throwing stars. Dropped one of those. <laughs> oh. And here, a mystical, this is like the, a three-part nunchuck. That's kind of cool, though. And he comes with a skateboard. Skateboarding and Ninja Turtles have always uh, worked well together. Let's see, let's put him on there. Let's give him his little mystic light-up guy. We'll give him this one in this hand. Oh, he's ready to roll out and attack and defend New York City. Also, similar one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 13 points of articulation. I knew that. Uh, check out Michelangelo. Man, he's looking cool. Really loving the colors on these. You can see he's got some different art on his shell on the front there, different color. Uh, you can see, I just want to show out the color differences here um, between Raph and Michelangelo. You can see that Raph is a little bit lighter of a green. I love that they've always been defined by a couple of different shades. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Leonardo is next. You know him as the, the leader in the past, but now he's the trickster. Leonardo is the trickster. Leo is intelligent, quick-witted. He uses his sharp skills to beat opponents, find shortcuts around obstacles, and always knows the perfect time to land one of his many one-liners. 
species, or red-eared slider. And his weapon is the Odachi sword. No more dual katana blades. One Odachi sword now he has. Let's get him out. Look at this sword, though. Now that's got some size to it. That's a pretty hefty sword. That's probably the biggest weapon out of uh, the whole group. Here is the sword, um, classic size. Let's do a little comparison. Oh, wow. Big differences there. Ninja Star, Ninja Star. Let's get them cut out. Kids, ask a parent to help you cut these things. Well, he comes with another skateboard too, but his is different. He has a smaller skateboard than Michelangelo's. Let's check those out. Two differences there. Pretty cool. I like that it's not the same skateboard. That means they used a completely different mold to make it. That's pretty cool. Well, Leo's kind of tiny too. He's another run of the family. Let's see. Let's see who's taller, Michelangelo or Leo. Oh, Leo's got a little bit on him. A little bit. Pretty cool. He's got, check out his belt there. He's got some pockets in there. Probably put some pizza seasoning or, you know, red pepper flakes. Man, I'm really digging these, to be honest. Solid figures. Let's check out his shell back. A little different from the other guys, too. And let's get the Odachi sword in there. I'm probably slaughtering the word. All right. Boom. Also loving the colors on these. Great figures. I'm happy. All right, last but not least, guys, Don Latello, the tech whiz. Donnie is the coolest tech whiz ever. Being a soft shell turtle may be a drawback in the ninja world, but with his series of battle shells and transforming bow staff, Donnie can take on any foe. His weapon is the tech bow staff. So he still has a bow staff. Uh, if you did watch the cartoon, uh, he's the, one of the only brothers who chooses not to go for a mystical weapon. And he relies on technology still, which kind of makes sense, and I kind of like that about Donatello. You do you, Donnie. Here's his bow staff. Very technological. Uh, in the cartoon, it does many different things. It can change into pretty much whatever he wants it to for the time being. That's definitely an upgrade from the Donatello of past. But here we do see... Uh, Mystical bow staff, so maybe I'm wrong, and I gotta watch more episodes to see if he finally caves in to get a better weapon. That's pretty cool looking, um. Now, he can also fly. His, his shell is a soft shell turtle, so he has different attachments that he attaches to his shell. Uh, this one, I think, helps him fly through the air. If you've seen that in the promo with April O'Neil riding on his back who is also an action figure in the line, but we don't have her. All right, check out Donnie. He's got some goggles on there. These kind of are a little bit more influenced from the recent movie, I feel, too, with their uh, designs, especially with the, the old cover the head uh, mask bandana here. Now his shell, it's very weak, flimsy, pops right up. Oh, you can take it off. Oh, look how pathetic his shell is. Oh, this poor guy. You can see his spine through it. Oh, that's gross. No wonder they make fun of him. Let's, let's see what this... So you can take his shell, pop on the flying shell. Boom, now he's in action. Now you can't mock him, because he's going to fly, baby. Fly, Donatello. Let's put that bow staff on there. And I dropped it. All right. Yeah, Donatello, man. I think if you ask a lot of people, they'll also say they were Donatello as a kid. I think a lot of people like the bow staff as a weapon. Personally, I think it's a pretty cool weapon. But that's it, guys. Here we go. We got the four figures all ready to go, ready to eat some pizza, and ready to take on John Cena. I mean, Baron Draxum. Yeah, Raphael. Just look at the comparison. Big. He's the biggest turtle in the group. 
I think Donnie's like the second tallest. If you can see that there, yeah. Cool, well nice. I, I think, I'm definitely digging Raphael. I think he's my favorite of the, of the lot, but Michelangelo's pretty fun too. I don't know, which do you guys like best? Which turtle's your favorite? Which one can you not wait to get in stores to purchase for only $8.99? And these are available now, they came out last week. And what do you think? Be sure to watch the cartoon and enjoy it. Don't complain, just enjoy it as something new. It's different, it's new. Taking them to a new realm that the turtles have never been before. And uh, as always, I'm Rocco. Stay close to News Geek for all your pop culture needs.